Yeah. Breakfast in the park, Douglas Park, April 29th. We're going to feed the whole town of Duncan breakfast, but more importantly, we're going to bring them Jesus. Good morning, YouTube. I can't see myself on the screen. It's dark outside, but we are headed to the church for a men's breakfast. Gonna be cooking up a meal for, I hope, 25 or more guys. Sometimes it's a little less, sometimes it's a little more, but I've got several guys waiting on me gonna be there. So just thought I'd bring y'all along for my morning, bright and early. Say good morning, Chris. Good morning. Well, we made it to the church. And uh, I'm not gonna video a whole lot of this, but I wanna take y'all around and show you what we got going on. Cooking this breakfast for hopefully about 25 men, maybe more, maybe a little less. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. So flip y'all around and show you what we got going on. Getting ready for the breakfast. Hopefully we got 20, 25 guys coming in here. We got. Cody and Steve back here frying up bacon and sausage. Bill's back here. Bill, you'll see him everywhere. That is a working motor scooter right there. Look how delicious that looks. Breakfast in the park. Douglas Park, April 29th. We gonna feed the whole town of Duncan breakfast. But more importantly, we gonna bring them Jesus. Amen. Hey man, what do you got in the pot, Steve? We got goodies, man. Look at that. It don't get better than that. Guys, we're going to feed these guys belly. But most importantly, we're going to feed their souls. Yeah, we're going to give them something to eat on. We got black coffee. Already full. Thank you, Mike. We got a bunch of guys working their tails off back here. Look at them. Jack. Look at these guys. <laughs> no, no. What do we got going? We got gravy. That's transparent gravy right now. That little bag right there will turn into gravy. We got biscuits. Getting ready. The food will be right here. We got them all ages this morning. So hi, Jameson. That's what it's all about. We start them out young. <laughs> I'm going to the King James. This is new King James right here. This is, let me set the story. David, David I mean, I mean, uh, 1 Samuel 30, verse 6, B, basically the last half of the verse. All right, so we didn't have as big a crowd as I would like to have had this morning, but that went real well. So it's time now though, to scat back to the farm. I wanted to talk a little bit about my 100 videos in 100 day challenge. And let me tell you something, I knew it would be but it's appropriately named. It's a challenge to crank out that much. Today is day 12 of 100 days. Today, 
is the first day that I need to produce a video to publish today. I don't have a video for today yet. So, I'm gonna publish one. And uh, this is it. Figured I'd bring you along on my morning with the men's breakfast. Back to the farm. We have got to get some things done today. I've got, I've still got three days off. This was a four day weekend, but I had work yesterday on my day off. Uh, it's not a problem. I volunteered to do that. That wasn't, it wasn't a forced deal. It just helps me down the road. I'll start advertising it now. Uh, Oki Homesteading Expo. Second annual Oki Homesteading Expo is coming up in June. June the 2nd and 3rd in Pryor, Oklahoma. And Dina and I hope, we don't at this point know for sure, but we hope that we're gonna be vendors there. So anyway, just wanted to kick that out there. I'll uh, put a link or, or I'll, yeah, I'll put a link to their, their webpage or their Facebook or something in the show notes here. But the Oki Homesteading Expo second annual, I don't know exactly how they're gonna title it, but that's what I'm calling it right now until I know. But we're gonna be out there whether we are vendors or not. So we wanna be vendors, but if we can't if we can't get in there and be a vendor, we're definitely going to attend. We've already gotten a hotel out there. Uh so we're gonna stay the whole time and and Hopefully be a vendor. If we can be a vendor, that's even better with our freeze dried candy. So anyway, back to the farm. Uh, I said that, I said all of that about the Oki Homesteading Expo to tell you that I may have to go to a sale. There's a uh, an estate sale going on today in our neighborhood, neck of the woods. It's, I say our neighborhood, it's probably 10, 10 miles or more from the house, but Anyway, uh, maybe 20, but I may have to go there because they had some stuff we can use for the candy business. At Dina, while I was at work, Dina seen it and wanted me to go look. Other than that, if I don't go to this state sale, even if I do go to this state sale, I've got to work on getting a fence built. But I've already talked to y'all about hay and hay prices, and I cannot afford to buy hay and about out of the hay I did buy, and I need to, whoops, my pickup's telling on me because I run over the edge of the side of the road, went over the white line. Uh, I need more hay. So I've got some pasture, a small bit, but I got some pasture that if I build a fence, and not too much fence, but if I build a fence, I can open it up and let them in there and there's some decent grass. It's not the best, it's not the end all to fix all, but it sure go a long ways to help get them some grass that they don't have access to right now. And I won't have to buy as much hay. What I've got to do is move a couple corner posts, take some wire loose, move a couple corner posts, brace another H post to be a corner post or at least something like a corner post I need to put a brace there so I can stretch against it and then stretch all the wire and then I can open it up to them. Well, I say then I can open it up. I've also got to fix the hole in my barn door because this is going to be fencing my barn in where they can get up front by my, my barn, my shop, but there's a hole big enough they can walk through and I don't want to I don't want them in the barn. That's not what, they've got their own barn, uh, which I think I'm gonna do some work on in the near future. So we'll we'll probably video that for you too. But anyway, I've got, I've got to fix that hole and, and put that fence up and then we can uh, 
turn the cows loose in there. Maybe save some money on hay. Hopefully, there's quite a bit of grass in there, but it's not the best. It's already winter time, you know, and uh, it's not it's not as green. It's not going to have as many as much protein and stuff in it as as fresh grass would. But neither does hay. So that's the plan today. I had to, I had this men's breakfast and was been I've been blessed to be able to help lead that men's breakfast and it's important to me and many other guys so we got that out of the way and now we're headed back to the farm to build fence or we're headed back to the farm to get in the Dina's ride and go to a uh, an estate sale and then come back to the farm and build fence either way it's gonna be a busy day but we're almost in Marlow now I've got several ideas and things of videos that I need to shoot and I'm learning more and I've got a guy I've got a guy coming to help me learn more about editing and more about uh, video content and making uh, thumbnails that like the, the picture you see when you see my video on YouTube they call that thumbnail and how to build thumbnails and, and just I'm just trying to up my game in the video creation department so we've we've seen quite a bit of growth in this 100 day 100 video challenge we've got 88 days to go after today 88 that's a lot y'all that's a lot of videos i had uh 60 let's see i had 62 videos when i started this on youtube and when i'm done i'm gonna have 162 videos plus because we've done a couple of bonus videos we put out a couple of short videos i don't know what you call shorts i'm still learning how to do that I, I i published one as a short and it popped up as a regular video i don't know if that means it was too long to be a short dina's published a short but i'm gonna try to do more shorts which is the little quick thumb through videos you you guys probably know more about it than i do but anyway and then we've published a couple bonus videos where we've branched out into other stores and things like that uh, i've got another store we've got to announce soon that we've branched out in that that became a reality yesterday we've mentioned that briefly on other video but that became a reality that's going to be in comanche oklahoma at the buzzards nest i believe it is and we're here in uh i just passed it we're here in marlow at a place called sweet reese co uh, right now we're in comanche and marlow and you can always call and come by the farm or catch one of the events we're at like i hope we see a bunch of y'all out at the uh Okie Homesteading Expo. I know Pryor, Oklahoma is a long way from Marlow, Oklahoma, but it's really a good deal. It's a great, great this year's two-day event. Last year was a one-day event, but this year it's a two-day event. So we're going to be there for both days and uh, just looking forward to it. We are about to turn off the highway at the farm and we'll know more about the rest of the day once we get in there and talk to dina she was already up at five o'clock this morning making candy she had somebody coming to pick up an order of candy as a matter of fact i know we're not leaving until that happens and that's at noon so i'm going to get some work done before we go to that estate sale if we if we do go to the estate sale but we are at the farm now